Welcome to Tag Customs Trail Pirates. This time we have a great adventure for you. A couple of the Langley Chrysler boys decided to head an adventure convoy out to Hale Creek. The crew started large, but the scope of the adventure dissuaded all but three from the challenge. With the day here, Sham pulls up to the meetup spot in his Gladiator, where Derek is already waiting with his Tacoma, but no Heinz. We get a text from Heinz saying he still plans to come, but he's just about to head out and about two hours away. So we brief him on the route we plan to take and wish him the best of luck, as he's going to have to find and catch up to us. The drive to the base is the calm before the storm. The excitement is high. We're all eager to make the last day of the weekend all it can be, as this is the nicest day the mainland's had in a long time. We arrive at the staging area, air down our tires, and do any last minute prep. Uh, we're gonna go down to Hill Creek, a uh, cool little beach spot there. There's a easier way down that we're gonna take just to get some cool views, and then there's a more difficult route coming back up that's gonna really push the, our vehicles to the limits a little bit more, but um, gonna see how the Gladiator stacks up against the Tacoma. So who do you think's gonna have the better vehicle today? I will, but we can, Humor Derek and his. Jennifer, is that the name? Let's, yeah, Jennifer. Yeah. Let's just go have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just airing down a little bit here. Looking for a smoother ride. Get a little bit more traction. Get down gate. to 30 psi. Loosen things up just a little bit. Yeah, you got you to press and hold, talk, and then say over and out, over and out. Sounds good, that rubber ducky. Still doesn't get it. <laughs> All right, let's go. With nerves and anticipation hitting their peak, we hit the road. It's been a long time since these vehicles have really gotten to let loose. We let her rip, wind rushing past, dust kicking up behind us. We race through the early stages of the trail. It's nothing better than getting out, testing out our trucks and Getting out of cell phone range. <laughs> it's blown me away. One of the most fun vehicles I've ever owned. Buddy, it's been a hoot. Glad we ended up doing it. I guess this is the first kind of big trail that we've done. Pretty pleased with it, actually. So. Yeah, I mean, Kings, Wild Peaks. I mean, methods are more so for aesthetics. Rock sliders, haven't had to use them just yet, but. Yeah, we're having a hoot. You know what, I don't think we'll see too much mud. I'm not a big fan of the mud. Uh, not a just because you can never get it all out. <laughs> Your stuff got a little wet, but not that bad <laughs> grease. We'll send more regrets. Oh, you guys, I didn't manage to get it on camera, but that puddle we just saw Derek go through, Sham hit at almost full speed, no stop. And the top and all the doors are open, so. I have no regrets. This is what it was built for. That interior, though. Paid promotion is uh, brought to you by the detail team at Langley Chrysler. They will clean anything. After about 30 minutes of ripping up service roads, we arrive at the drop off, where the rocky beaten trail weaves down the valley to the bottom of Hale Creek. Eager to test out the new mods, Derek and Sham start down the trail, crawling over rocks, thrashing through water crossings, uphill, downhill, over logs. This trail really has a bit of it all. Pretty good, we haven't hit anything yet, so, but we're about halfway there. My Jeep keeps throwing up rocks inside the cabin, so that's kind of cool. The tires stick out so wide, but uh, yeah, it's fun. It brings the nature right to you. Yeah, exactly. and nobody's gonna belittle you if it's like you know the first time you want bought a Jeep and you just want to kind of start exploring so it's a community is awesome and, and sorry that's not just Jeep that's 4 by 4 in general I'll, I'll give it that even if you have a Tacoma nobody's perfect but 
At last, after a long morning of driving, we reached the bottom. How was that, bud? It's great. And we're here. We cruise along the shoreline, looking out over the beautiful, pristine, glittering waters of Harrison Lake. We cross Hale Creek and head to set up camp. We set chairs, string a hammock, build a fire, and get to relax. Well, at least Derek does. Dripping in for a quick dip as Sham sits on the tailgate, refusing to, quote, take his boots off and stay a while. As we joke around, we realize that we haven't heard from Heinz. And we're way past cell reception, so there's no way he can get in contact with us. A little worried, we wonder if we should head back up the beach to see if we might find him. But our concerns are sound, as we see a one-armed figure riding a quad waving to us down the beach. As he pulls up far more dirty, dusty, and sweaty than us from his long quad ride. Ah, good grief! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! There's no sign! <laughs> So I'm trying to look at the picture I took and the map I'm on and I'm like, oh my god, is this close to it? <laughs> and then I find these two guys on the top, they're in a whole bunch of jeeps, and I'm like, Hell Creek, the guy's like, down this road. I'm like, yes. We cook food and hang out sharing stories, cracking jokes, and planning where we're going to head next. No worries in our minds, we enjoy the satisfaction of being far beyond cell reception. Sadly, we bid an early goodbye to Heinz, as he has to rush home. But it's getting late, so we also pack up and prepare for the biggest challenge of the day. There is a somewhat hidden trail, an alternate way out of the valley. You may be able to get down to Hale Creek in a stock vehicle, but you have no goddamn chance of getting out on this trail. The start of the trail is fairly clean, but the first stretch is climb is at least twice as steep. When we hit the second section, the size of the rocks are a bit of a surprise to Derek. Oh, shit. All right, that either looks impassable or... <laughs> you wanna try it or what? Hey, Derek, how pissed are you on a scale of one to 10? He said 11. We take turns, guiding and spotting each other over the tricky terrain, squeezing windshields past fallen logs, creeping over rocks in the middle of the trail, gleaming with the oil residue of someone who wasn't okay, now so Now you're going to want to start cutting this way, Sham. A little bit, not too hard. You're good, you're good. Oh. How'd that feel? Buddy, that was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. That was <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's gonna be pretty good. He's got a rear locker. That'll make a big difference. He's got a slightly better break over angle. I think he'll be fine. Front wheel's gonna come over that rock, you'll be fine. Two wheels up over there. No, you're you're you'll clear that. Okay. And if you don't, I, I'll tow you out. Come over a rock in the front. Is that full crank? No. 
That's tight. About, and then you climb over. Straight out. Hey. That's pretty Got tough. Up. That's quite technical. Your wheels have to be in the right spot, really. That's fine. It's a good time. How was that? Lots of fun. No problem. Clean as a whistle. Now let's see what's around the next bend. <laughs> <laughs> For low, so you're getting, you're going slower, but you're getting more torque to the ground, which is ideal for coming up steeper grades of hill, like when you're wheeling, obviously not when you're on the highway, but. What do you think the grade here is? Uh, well, we could take a look. So pitch is the grade, which is, we're sitting at 12, 13 and climbing. We're basically <laughs> just hanging halfway. Yeah, up. Even the Jeep knows that this is not safe, so I think we'll keep moving. <laughs> which is why you should probably buy a Jeep Wrangler so you can see exactly what's going on with your Jeep. Yeah, it's all about the stats. <laughs> <laughs> the sunset is starting to glint off the tops of the trees. Picking up the pace, we push through, racing the setting sun. But then, something no one was expecting, and we're delayed for a good 30 minutes. The most beautiful view of the whole trip. We can't help ourselves. Sham and Derek crawl their rigs on top of this rock bluff, jutting out into the sky, overlooking the fire-scorched landscape. The soft orange glow of the sunset sets the mountains ablaze. The velvet orange haze hangs over the valley. We sit and gaze in awe of the beautiful place we live. Adventure successful. It's kind of unbeatable. This is why we live in BC and we pay the ridiculous rent that we do. Views like this. Sham's looking all peaceful up there. I am. It's nice. It's nice. What you got there, bud? Nothing. Just a uh, just a uh, just a water. Yeah, yep. it's just uh alkaline. Desani? Alkaline water. Desani? Just water. Do they uh do they can things? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Imported. We hit the head of the dirt trail back, just as the final wisps of light drip behind the mountain peaks. Switching on the high beams, we roar down the deserted trails, grinning from the residual excitement from the day. A long 12-hour day is finished, but the adventure's not over. The adventure's never over for a 4x4. Talk of the next outing starts right away. Sham works on getting the crusted dirt out of his leather seats. Derek buys some energy drinks, ready to get to work in the early morning. And that's another one for the books. Good vehicles, good trails, and good times. Interested in getting your own build and setting a sail in the trails of BC? Come see the exhibit to Tag Customs. We've been building leading edge, adventure ready vehicles for 17 years. So we've seen a thing or two, and we'd love to pass on our knowledge to you. So come see Tag Customs and get your vehicle equipped for adventure today.